Hey everyone, welcome back. So we are just outside of Galactic Zone. This is probably the, maybe the scariest area in the park. At least it was in Frost, and I think it was last time I was in Horizon. Mostly because of the turrets. The turrets were not extremely well balanced. Please. Please, Bloodworm. Are you, are you dead? Okay, you're dead. You're still twitching. But yeah, it's, um... The turrets are absolutely brutal in here, so... Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. I did get the other cappies back. And there are rockets! My god, that was a lot of damage! Nice try, <laughs> asshole. But I'm still standing. Pretty sure your leg's busted up. Need to get that fixed. My my leg. Yeah. Okay. Has this not been even like remotely balanced? We got now. You're dead. Yo, bro, back up. I got I got to get a beat on him. Oh, come on. Fucking wall. Okay, did I say we're going to Galactic Zone today? Is that what I said? Was that me that said that? Because we're we're apparently we're not. We're going back to heal and fix our leg because that thing just Pretty much instantly destroyed the durability on my leg, and then uh, one-shot me. And now I need to heal and stuff. And plus, uh, Porter's got to heal too. My god. Are all these things that insane? I mean, I didn't check my health before I started this, but it, it wasn't that low. I guess I'll go ahead and heal. I was expecting the turrets to be crazy. I didn't expect the, um... The Nuka-Cola robots to be that crazy. Okay, so two things. We gotta go back and heal ourselves and fix our power armor, which means going back to, uh, the Commonwealth for a bit. And the second thing is, um, we have to go and make some healing things for Gage because... I don't want him to die. Or I want him to be knocked out, and if he's knocked out, then I can't get picked back up, which means that I just die and the run ends prematurely, and that would really suck to end this close to being done with the run, you know? Gonna be honest, if it ended here, I'd just say, okay, well, I guess we're done with Horizon until, uh, next version. And we haven't even done the main story yet. Cause there's like no way in hell I'm redoing everything all over again. So, uh, yeah. Those, those things are kind of insane. Um. So, the... Travel radio is at the southern part down towards the nice south part of Nuka Town. You can go down there and, uh... Head back to the, the castle. Where we I'm glad you guys are happy with the park I gave you. Not supposed to hurt the other gangs. No rule against tricking them into hurting each other, though. Ain't no one sad about Coulter. Hi there. Just if you don't have screw any this questions up. about Nuka World, I'd be delighted to answer them. And remember, if you collect a full set of park medallions, I'll give you a special reward. No questions for now. In that case, thanks for error. <laughs> System malfunction. You're still here? Get the System, uh -huh. have a great... Okay. She doesn't have like a, I don't know, she doesn't have, she doesn't swear at all, which is kind of weird. I mean, I guess it's a family park and all that stuff, but you know. 
considering there's a lot of swearing in this game anyway, they could have, like, made her call you whatever they wanted, and it wouldn't have been a big deal, really. Okay, let's go to the castle, and, uh, let's go heal up. My god, that was insane. I don't, uh, I don't know what to do about that, really. Um, that was just, like, an instant... Is, it must have, like, a ton of armor-piercing damage. I'll get these kids whipped into shape. Don't worry. Because it just went straight through my armor and straight through me, and then I was dead. Okay, so... First things first, then, let's, uh... Build me nice? Repair this, then... And that was like a leg shot, right? Like, imagine if that was the head. I would have just been one shot. It was like 60% of my health or something in one shot. I don't know. This could be repaired too, probably. The rest of it should be good. The torso is fine. I have no, no idea what I could do besides that. Oh yeah, I was I was taking pictures. Don't... I'm in the Western Duster. Don't don't judge me. That's for thumbnails, okay? I know there's some of you Western lovers out there that would be interested in something like that. Even though it shows me as being naked here. Let me see. Where's my... There it is. Okay. Well, um... It was kind of awful. All right, I'm going to do some Horizon stuff here, guys, since I'm here already. Um, probably, like, spend the day here doing some Horizon stuff. And I'm going to do that off screen so you guys aren't too bored. And then I'll see you once we're back in the park. Okay, we're back and uh, mostly healed. Wow. So, I uh, have to be a bit more careful in here. We can't just brute force our way through things as I normally do. Even with our overpowered character, it seems like that'd be a bad idea. Um, want to make sure that we... very carefully take out the enemies here. These are all really good sources all right. of um, materials as well. These robots are, so at least there's that. Is that a missile I just saw? But uh, also very, very dangerous, so... Try going in from this other entrance here to see how that goes, and we'll go in stealthily and make sure that we're trying to take out targets before we get shot at by them, you know? You hear something? comes into sight again, I probably can get a clean shot on him and just one-shot him. Or just miss a bunch. He's outside of Vats range, or else I would just Vats him. It's a mini nuke. It's a freaking little mini nuke. I forgot to make healing stuff for Gage. Oh my god. Gage will be down now. Okay, that, that did it. They shoot like a little quantum gun thing, and it it looks like Nuka-Cola Quantum they're shooting at us, and it just like instantly does like a mini nuke effect. Is that what um, Brad Burton was working on for the military?
Come on. Now time to mess around with uh, not using healing stuff, you know? Do a... Uh, yeah, an Ultra one. Let's see, I'm pretty sure I have Ultra Combat Stim Packs. There we go. doing cryo damage? I think it's cryo damage. Oh, I do have these now. Okay, there we go. I must not have just had any... I must not have had any uh, adrenaline injectors. I do have, you know, a dedicated sniper rifle I can use too, I suppose. by something on that. Oh, you're so freaking annoying. Turret over there too, good to know. Eyes up. Something's out there. Swore I heard something. Probably is a turret. You're all going to activate as soon as I go through here. I do not trust you at all. Bad move. Please stand clear. <laughs> this is now a pre-fire zone.
I did nothing to him at all. They're really tanky. Yeah, we definitely need more punch. We're not dealing with Meyer lurks or whatever. We need to have, like, yeah, plasma grenade would be good. A better angle on this thing than that, because that was kind of an awful angle. Without getting shot by anything else. Yeah, like that. Oh my god, this place is a nightmare. I know all this shit's gonna turn on as soon as I walk through here, man. Don't leave anything behind if you can help it. I'm not sure if we got hit by any of that that laser turret. I don't think I did. So I'm not really confident in how much or how little damage will do to me. Hopefully it's not very much, but The Mr. Frothies aren't too bad, but the walking vendor things, these things, I think, those are kind of a nightmare. These things, yeah, well, no, this is Mr. Frothy, too. Wonder if I can build the um, Nuka Cola Quantum arm thing for my robots. That'd be insane. I mean, it looks like they're shooting a little Nuka Cola Quantum seeking. May nuke, pretty much. It's, it's weird. It's like a blue seeking energy may nuke. It does crazy damage. Okay, so far so good, though. Haven't died yet, and, uh, you know, we're making progress. It's fine. These guys are very tanky. Hey, eyes up. There you The Nucatron watchers, yeah, these guys are insane. Hell of a good time. I'm 
and listening. It just sounds like a regular Mr. Handy, probably Mr. Frothy. Ooh, it gives you rads, too. It's not that bad, though. In comparison to the other ones, it's, like, very minimal. Oh, it's you. That was like a weird turret sound he was making, but no, it was just the animatronic. Nice. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff in there. I'll come back here and loot thoroughly in a bit, but, uh... Gotta make this place... a bit more safe first. Oh, I forgot to- oh my god, my FOV. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I forgot. Again, I was taking pictures and I forgot. It wasn't until I was, like, up close and was like, oh my god, like, why does this feel so, like, claustrophobic? And I was like, oh yeah, because I set my FOV really, really low. Take a picture. Making sure it's actually active that I can do damage to it because some of them were not. Am I doing damage to it? No, I'm not. It's not active. Okay, so it was active temporarily. I don't know what the deal is with that. Hope there's something useful to be found. Oh, Horizon, why do you gotta be like this, man? The nice set of Nuka Quantum... Does, do I at least get the paint job? Because the paint job's really cool. Well, ain't this something? Probably don't all work, but... I'm gonna keep my hands to myself just the same. It's been three weeks since Ingrid and I activated Star Control and the new robots in the Galactic Zone. Earlier today, I was working on a Nucatron when these damn kids came at us with their thirst sappers. Of course, they got soda all over the exposed hardware. The Nucatron lurched and pointed its nozzle right at one of the boys. I thought for sure he'd trigger the military protocol, and we were all dead. Turns out Star Control sensed the glitch. So we never had to find out. It shut down the Nucatron itself. God, I was so relieved. I still think having armed robots in the park is insane. But as far as I'm concerned, this star controls the real deal. So star control controls everything. It's like an AI, pretty much. Have to get all the star control, star cores, right? I remember that part at least. Okay, initializer emergency operations mode. Clear the galactic zone and repair the mainframe. Okay, 
the star control system developed by Robco Industrial is a complete solution for corporate clients needing a, to administer a large number of robots and defensive systems. Star control technology is built on a series of highly redundant interchangeable telemetry modules. At runtime, these cores establish a radio communications interlink between the star control mainframe and linked robotic systems, allowing the mainframe to coordinate their actions and issue commands irrespective of their underlying operating protocols. Individual cores may be safely replaced during normal operation. In the event of a major failure, Star Control can still boot into a limited functionality emergency mode if at least one Star Core is present. While a system is in emergency mode, all robots and defenses will continue to act as their prior operating instructions. As cores are replaced, series of emergency protocols will be progressively unlocked as computing resources permit, allowing the user to react to urgent problems until full functionality can be restored. Okay. Just gonna go through these really quick. In case any of them trigger any, any uh, quests or anything, doesn't seem like they do. Okay, so we can get six in the Vault Tech Among the Stars, six in the Robco Battle Zone, because there's, there's a whole bunch in this local area. Alright, so that's what we're going to be doing for the most part in Galactic Zone. This is like the one of the bigger zones, I think. It's, uh... There's a lot here we have to be going through. Which is... The main point, I think, one of the main points of this place. And normally you unlock the power armor in there, I'm pretty sure. Though it's not going to matter too much since we don't have a nice full set of Nuka Quantum power armor in there like you would normally have in Fallout 4, which is really a bummer. Oh, it's one of you. Did I just like... No, it was the traitor that got their arm blown off. Okay. I thought I just blew Gage's arm off or something. I thought it was one of those other robots for a second. Now it was just a Protectron. I mean, these guys hurt too, but they don't hurt as much as those... Nukatron, whatever they're called, things. I, uh, I don't think that those robots having that advanced attack or whatever is, like, overpowered or anything, though, because I'm pretty sure, right, like, in the lore, that's what they were developing here for the U.S. military. Like, Brad Burton was working on that for the military. And if it was going to be giving them an edge in the war, then it makes sense it'd be, like, extremely overpowered and it would actually be able to kill people through power armor pretty easy, even. Sweet. Because that'd be one of the things, that'd be, like, one of the main challenges they'd have in fighting off enemies is trying to get through people that have power armor and really... They're really well, you know, defended, defensible, whatever. Okay, Cinerary looks pretty good now. I think we're done here. We have a bunch of areas we need to go into, though. I know it's nighttime, but I can... I mean, we can see well enough with uh, this. With the light and everything. I am detecting you presences tracking your position. He's active now? Doesn't look like it.
Bunch of ghouls. You hear something? Just pause there for a second, guys. There you go. Good job. At least we're getting lots of good stuff, you know? I was pretty much out of, um, nuclear materials, so... Right, doesn't work yet, because the power's out. Heads up, boss. We ain't alone. Don't have line of sight over there, whatever that is. Yes. Manager's key, very nice. And their terminal as well here. Okay, we have inbound communications. To Peyton Hugsley, executive assistant to Mr. Brad Burton. This is penning over at Starport Nuka. We're experiencing all sorts of minor control malfunctions with the older model robots in the Galactic Zone. Sending over some of the incident reports. Nothing serious yet, but if Star Control ever loses its connection with these robots, I'm not sure what they'll do. Personally, I think our hardware is too far behind the software to have Star Control run the whole show right now. I know you don't want to hear it, but we really need to shut down the Galactic Zone and do a major overhaul before we have a cat catastrophic failure. Okay, so, um, have a crisis on our hands over here. I realize that Project Cobalt has put a lot of our resources on hold, but if we don't get some help soon, this could get out of control. Star Control was never meant to handle this many robots at one time, and we keep being asked to add more and older models to the system. Please approve my requisition for new staff and maintenance request as soon as possible. To Ingrid Suvenstein, Nicoport Technician. Ryan, Mark and I are tired of fixing these robots and getting them to play nice with Star Control. The new system has put a strain on their control modules and some of the older models just can't take the extra load. We're behind schedule as it is, and now you want us to chaperone tour groups through the Star Control? If you want this stuff fixed quicker, you need to hire more staff or get to the bottom of why our purchase orders keep getting held up. Hmm, okay, so... Brad Burton was... sending... all the resources he could to work on... the new Quantum Project. That was the key. Ooh, T50 helmet, very nice. I'm not sure if I actually need to go down through here in order to, like, get down to lower level. Where does this actually go? I mean, we can just we can just go down here without. Oh, it goes down to here. Where does it? Does it go up? It goes up, doesn't it? Yeah, it goes up to the very top, which is going to be like a manager's office or something. Yeah. So. Okay. We can't access that until we have gotten the power back on, which is going to mean that we need to. Um. 
progress further in the quest, pretty much. Okay, let's take a look at some of the other areas besides the central area here. This is a planetarium area, I think. Let's have a look inside. 